Well, the Nigeria Labour Congress says it is working to reconcile all members of the Labour Party through a transition committee, but that has been met with protest from some members of the Labour Party. We're joined now by the National Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party, OBRI4. Uh, good to see you. And uh, well, not too good a time for your party being in the news uh, for uh, so many reasons that people are trying to understand what exactly has happened. You had the NLC representative earlier on saying uh, uh, what uh, your party has done is a hijack, a hijack in the party for the NLC. Uh, let us understand what exactly it is ha uh, that is going on. <clears throat> Thank you so much for having me. The Labour Party was founded in 20, 2002 and by the laws guiding political parties. The moment it is formed, it runs on its own. Association can no longer own a political party. So a Labour Party is not different from what you have from other political parties. In Nigeria, for instance, PDP had some people coming together to form them, APC and the rest of them. And the moment you form a political party, you hands off because it becomes a body corporate which can sue or to be sued. But some of the founders of this political party still continue to claim that they are the owners of the political party. And we are trying to let them understand that it is not so again. Because even in the Electoral Act, uh, Section uh, 77, it clearly shows that a political party is open to everyone, every Nigerian irrespective of the people that formed it. So it can no longer be said to be owned by any individual or group of persons. But don't you think uh, the fact that the Nigeria Labour Congress, because we heard from uh, the prof that left before you, that they registered this party, to what extent is the NLC carried along in the affairs of the Labour Party? Sure. Does it have a place at all in the... No, it does. Yeah. Let me also say that from inception up to this moment, everyone that has led this party has always been a member of the union, including Abure, who was also a founding member and someone whose signature could still be found in the register of Labour Party on its formative days all through the days of Dan Wayam, who was the chairman of Nubife. So they cannot claim that they are not part of what is going on in the Labour Party. And outside that, in the organization of a Labour Party, we have space purely reserved for uh, 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 NLC, the deputy national chairman, an exalted position that is immediately after the chairman. And we also have that position for TUC in the leadership uh, hierarchy of uh, Labour Party. And every decision that is taken in Labour Party is in consonance with what the uh, NLC thinks or wants because they have a representation in the hierarchy of the leadership of the party. Well, they are saying that the party has been hijacked and that uh, Abure, the current chairman, the yes, that uh, he's been handling the affairs of the party no, like a sole administrator. No, that wouldn't be uh, a new thing for them to say. They say that when Iwayangu, uh, when Iwayangu was the national chairman, they also say that when the late uh, Absalom was the national chairman. But I think the point of departure here is mm. that they really want to decide and dictate what happens in the political party. And we are saying no. If you are a member, you have to come to the table and discuss. And we agree. But one uh, pathetic issue here is that most of them are not even members of the Labour Party, the NFC. For instance, in a state, 
the chairman of NLC, is a member of APC. In their leadership there, mm -hmm. there are so many of them that contested mm -hmm. election under other political parties. And these are the people that are asking that the soul of a political party be handed over to them to do what? So mm -hmm. you, when you say uh, the soul of a political party, but you would also agree that uh, leading up to this moment uh, the, uh, where the NLC came, uh, to your office and forcefully, uh, as we saw on television, uh, pull the gate. Uh, there has been uh, there have been complaints uh, about, you know, high-handedness from the leadership of your party. In this case, Abure. Some people have complained issues of uh, being forced out of the race, you know, forging signatures. So, uh, do you think that these are also connected to what we're seeing, you know, from the Labour Party? No, these allegations are orchestrated. Oh. Yes. The, the point there is that they want Abure out at all costs. Who, 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 who are they? Doing? NLC. NLC. Ajero in particular. Why? So he, why? 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 Because of 2027, they have interest. What kind Let of me interest? Come. Yes. Let me come. Yes, please. They have interest. Their attention is to have Labour Party and now decide who to deal with in 2027. They never had intention of making Labour Party grow. When you say they will Let now decide, sorry, uh, so that we, we, you know, we're on the same page with you, when you say they will now decide who to deal with, are you saying that there's a plan in 2027 to use the Labour Party as a transactional vehicle? Is that what you're saying? That is exactly what I am saying now. And that is why the real owners of Labour Party are now saying that it cannot work. Uh, let me tell you the real owners of Labour Party. Mm. People who have registered as members of political of Labour Party in their wards and supporting the activities of the party in their wards and paying dues of just 50 naira every month in their wards. All these people, they are not even members of the party from their wards. So how do you own a party that you don't even have a membership card? Including Ajero. Including Ajero, he's State chairman is on record. Uh, uh, Arise Television was there when he said it in Bini that the records he has that Nigeria is not a card carrying member of Labour Party. Let's see if we can wrap up this because Nigerians will not be excited about this. So they feel that uh, both parties, if they don't come to the table, they just might uh, destroy the vehicle for the Labour Party. You have two elections coming, mm -hmm. one in Edo and another in Ondo State. So how can this be resolved? No, the, the Labour Party has no uh, issue as far as we are concerned because the authorizing body, being the INEC, knows if you go to INEC uh, uh, platform now, you will see the leadership of Labour Party. Our that's candidate. Sure. How, no, how no, no, that's what I'm saying. The INEC you uh, just mentioned uh, did not right. recognize no, the, the, the no, convention. No, that, yeah. that, you did, they didn't say that they did not recognize. What they said is that they are not aware. Two different things. Misinterpretation here. But the, well, the law but says INEC must, no, must be informed no, given no. Section, 80, uh, section 82. Yeah. Section 82. Mm -hmm. Subsection 2 say that INEC. No, Subsection 1 says that political party must inform INEC. And the second part of it, Section 2, says INEC. Shall I make may or may not witness read it? And did you inform INEC? We informed INEC on the 4th of December, 100 days. And when we had calls to change our dates, mm -hmm. we, we informed them, we wrote the letters are out there in the, in the space. So, what the young man that said, which how I'm much, not How sure. much notification did you give INEC, especially when it you know, came to the issue of the change in venue? No, the, the law is very clear. It says at least one week. Okay. And we did that. We, the last uh, change of venue, we did that on 20th of March. And we had our uh, con uh, convention on the 27th of March. So, the, our chances in Edo and the Ondo are very clear. 
We are going there knowing that we have all the chances and opportunities of winning the election for Labour Party. And then we are also using this opportunity. We are not fighting anyone. We are not asking anyone not to be or not to have interest in any position. But only asking, do it the right way. Register your word. Okay. Then right. from there we go. Doing the right way. That's a closing mm -hmm. line. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we'll be right for. I would like thank to you thank so you much. for finding time to come on Newsnight. Thank you so much. <laughs>